Good afternoon and welcome once again. My name is John. I am Orphan Car Garage and of course I am located in Abington, Massachusetts, which is about 30 minutes south of the great city of Boston. What I do here in Abington is try my best to purvey the most affordable and special interest in classic cars. The car here in front of us is a perfect example of that. They're no stranger to us here at Orphan Car Garage. We've had a lot of these cars come through the doors and they never last. And I don't expect this one will either. If you're in the market for late model Chevrolet Corvair and you want a show quality car, we have it for you today. This is a 1965 Chevrolet Corvair Monza Sport Coupe. Absolutely outstanding. This car is finished in factory correct Tahitian turquoise. Beautiful, beautiful color on these cars or any car from 1965 in the Chevrolet model lineup. It's hard to even show it how nice it is in this camera, but I'm trying my best. Tahitian turquoise, look it up. Arguably the best color you could buy for any 1965 Chevrolet. And I think it was only available in 1965. Add to that a pure white vinyl bucket seat interior. Does it get much better than that? This car was nicely restored in round 2005. We have pictures of the restoration, the car prior to restoration, and the car during restoration. This has always been a very straight, solid car, presumably always from Massachusetts as well, which is a bit unusual. No expense was spared. The car was uh, ground down to bare metal. All the glass was removed, and the car was painted from scratch. And I cannot find a flaw in this paint anywhere. This many years later even, the car has just been absolutely babied ever since its restoration. I cannot say enough about this car. Beautiful chrome, bezels. That red is still vibrant. Many times that's faded on these, that door to enter the key into the to open the trunk. You don't even have to take my word for it. This car is a senior division winner with the Corvair Society of America and their yearly concourse event that was held here in Massachusetts in the late 2000s. This car won highest honors at that point. Very little, if any, deterioration since then. The seat covers have been replaced with exact rep reproductions from our very own Clark's Corvair parts here in Massachusetts. It is presumed that the door panels and quarter panels on the inside of the car are original. The odometer on this car shows just over 75,000 miles, 75,574, I believe, to be exact. We'll get inside in a minute. I just can't get enough of the exterior of this car. It's wearing its correct three-prong spinners, the 13-inch wheels, 185, 80, 13s are in beautiful condition. Those factory correct three-prong spinner wheel covers really make the car pop. I mean, just look at that. This car is very, very straight. Undercarriage, very clean, fully detailed trunk compartment. There are pictures of that on our website. And not to be outdone, the engine compartment looks just as nice. This car has always been meticulously maintained, especially by its most recent owners who have owned the car about 20 years. This has the base 95 horsepower. Pancake 6, which I've always said and been told by guys that are a lot older than me, this is probably the best engine you could have in a Corvair. Just bulletproof. Brand new carburetors just installed this year. Nicely detailed engine bay. Lots of attention paid in here during its restoration. Actually, I believe the engine bay was restored and detailed many years later, probably within the last 10 years. The underside of the engine looks just as good as the upside of the engine. You won't find any leaks in this car whatsoever, which is very unusual in a Corvair. They like to usually mark their spot. You'll notice right away, and I'll probably get comments down below, that the rear cove here is painted Argent. That is uh, indicative of a Corsa model. And of course, this is not a Corsa, this is a Monza. But the owner, when he had the car painted, decided to take some liberties and have that cove painted in the correct Corsa Argent, which I think really, really looks good. This car is completely turnkey. If you're looking again for a show quality Corvair, look no further. Really nice original door panels. 
seat belts, uh, two front bucket seat seat belts, and one in the back so you can bring one of your best friends with you for the ride. Safely, at least. So, uh, 75,574 miles. The car has an accessory clock, which is a welcome feature. These cars without the clock look rather sparse in the dash cluster. Automatic power glide to speed, dash mounted, automatic transmission. The original AM radio is in place, but it does not work. We don't even believe it's hooked up. That's why this auxiliary mounted AM FM CD player is mounted under the dash. Nicely done, very clean, no modifications really other than two um, sheet metal screws to mount it. And there's two freestanding speakers in the back, which I'll show you when we get out of the car, that, that uh, the sound for this comes through very nicely. We've left it connected. Uh, the next owner can decide to leave it or remove it. If you want us to remove it, we will after you purchase the vehicle. Original manuals are in the glove box. And the cool little engine warning decals and ever so pop, ever so important tire pressure sticker, which was so important in the Corvair that most people ignored. Nice kick panels, presumably restored. Those are notoriously worn, scratched, faded. Nice carpeting, beautiful carpeting. Replaced at the same time as the seat covers, the mid 2000s when the car was restored. Nice running six-cylinder engine starts right up no noises no smoke dual exhaust very nicely done dual exhaust Of course, this is a 95 horsepower, so there's no engine call out on the end of uh, on the trunk on the engine lid. That's usually a giveaway that the car has the 95 horse. Because if it had the 110 or the or the 140 or even the turbo, there would be an emblem there signifying that. You probably noticed this, the horn horn works. The horn button is a Corsa horn button because the owner liked the previous owner liked the Corsa one better than the Monza one, which this would have had originally. But again, easily a couple clips and you could put the Monza one back on it. All a matter of preference. Just an outstanding example of a late model Corvair. These cars are becoming increasingly more popular. Their values are slowly rising. Uh, the likes of Hemmings Motor News and uh, Jay Leno talking positive about the Corvair. These cars are really starting to come into their own after decades of sort of just being a cult car. They're actually becoming collectible. So any Corvair you buy today, especially this nice, is only gonna increase in value. It's money in the bank, the way I look at it. So here we have this gorgeous Tahitian turquoise over white 1965 Chevy Corvair Monza Coupe. Orphan Car Garage pricing, 22,000. $900. We have a binder of receipts to back up everything that's been done to this car in the past 20 years. The receipts I'm undoubtedly add up to more than we're asking for the car. As I always say, buy one done. It's much cheaper and a lot more fun. Give me a call. 508-954-8090. My name is John. Check me out on the web, orphancargarage.com like and subscribe to us here on youtube we really appreciate all the support we do our best to get the best quality of uh, affordable classic cars out there that money can buy and i think a car like this is exactly what we try to do here i don't expect this car to last long give me a shout i appreciate all the support i look forward to talking to you guys again in the near future thank you